Remember Gorilla, which was a language model that we covered recently on this channel and how it was actually able to write faster API calls than GPT-4 with over 1600 APIs? Well, there's something that's freakishly better and that is Tool LLM. Now, this is a new language model that helps facilitate other language models to master and write code for 16,000 plus APIs. Not 1600 like Gorilla, 16,000. Now, this is an astonishing feat as we're really impressed with what Gorilla was actually able to do. However, within a single month, there is another model that can 10x the same type of calling limit to write APIs with Tool LLM. Now, for the people who do not know what this all means, well, Tool LLM aims to construct open source, large scale, and high quality instruction tuning, supervised fine tuned data to facilitate the construction of powerful large language models as it generates tool to like use capabilities and it helps empower open source language models to master thousands of diverse real world APIs. And it's able to achieve this by collecting high quality instruction tuning data sets, which will be covered throughout today's video. Now guys, we're gonna take a look at the data that is provided with Tool LLM. We're also gonna take a look at how you can actually fine tune and install it locally on our desktop. And lastly, we'll take a look at the research paper to go more in depth to get a better idea as to what Tool LLM is about. Now guys, I just wanna say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I never did this with the 15k milestone but we have finally hit 16k and this is absolutely astonishing. I just want to say thank you so much for always supporting and taking a look at the content that we provide over here. It really really means a lot to me and I just appreciate each and every one of you guys for always staying tuned and making sure that you're able to support and provide some value to this channel. So it really means a lot to me guys. Thank you guys so much for always supporting and always taking the time to check out these videos. It really means a lot to me. And for the future uploads, guys, I'm going to make sure I keep working my hardest. I know you guys can see from the recent uploads, there's been a change in editing styles, thumbnails, and it's just because I want to keep on getting better and making sure that you're able to get the right type of knowledge as well as being entertained while getting that knowledge as I don't want to waste your time. I don't want you to get the best information that is provided with this channel. So this is something i'm working towards and i'm gonna make sure that i keep working harder as we keep growing this channel so from the bottom of my heart guys thank you guys so much i'm not just stopping here i'm gonna keep on working my hardest and i'm gonna make sure that you guys are gonna get the best content and we're definitely gonna grow guys i promise you that so thank you guys so much for watching uh if you guys haven't checked out the patreon page please do so i really mean a lot as you guys can get access to amazing features like our discord as well as latest ai news that's provided over there with partnerships and networking opportunities now i also want to say thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel through the coffee page it really means a lot to me uh if you guys haven't followed world of ai please do so turn on the notification bell and like the tweets over here so you can get the best ai news catered towards you so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly guys make sure you subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys sorry for the stretch of the intro but this is something i just really wanted to state before we got into the video but thank you guys so much for watching and let's get right into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai as we talked about the start tool llm is a groundbreaking project and it's able to set you out to create a comprehensive and open source solution for enhancing the capabilities of different language models now its primary objective is to develop large-scale top tier instruction tuned sfts which is supervised fine-tuned data sets and this data set basically serves as a crucial resource for enabling the creation of robust and highly capable language models with a broad spectrum of tool use capabilities and this is something that we checked out with gorilla LLM, where you're able to write api calls from different like libraries such as hugging face tensorflow uh, i forgot the other one but there was three libraries in which the api were basically recalled from 
to generate whatever intelligence or application that was needed with the application of Corella LLM. So if you're interested in checking this video out, I highly recommend that you check it out because you'll get a better idea as to how these applications operate. Now this is also an amazing application with different use cases so I'll leave this link in the description below. But in the case of Tool LM, you now have 16,000 different API calls in which the application writes for you. So you're able to utilize such a diverse range of different API calling lists to help you with your ultimate goal to generate different types of resources or applications. Now this is also open source and it has proficiency in generating these calls and this is something that we'll take a look at with this video right over here now guys in this demo what tool lm has done is that they have taken one of the llama models i believe is the 13 billion parameter model and they have fine-tuned it with their project so that it can effectively be employed with the new api calling list now just take a look at this example and we can see from this demo you're able to observe how tool llama is able to comprehend and engage within different types of apis from their whole proficient list that they deployed with tool lm and it's basically showcasing the interactive scenarios where you are able to input a certain type of input like we see with this prompt at the start which is i'm planning a surprise party for my best friend and i want to include meaningful quotes in the decoration can you provide me with random love success and motivation quotes so you're giving a single prompt and what it's now doing with the new fine-tuned model of tool llama is that it's looking towards different types of tasks and queries that are related to different apis within their tool lm list that is associated with their fine-tuned model now and it responds by generating accurate and contextual relevant code snippets of the different types of quotes that it tries to generate for that single prompt that it gave it and this is something that we can see over here it's able to source through different api lists to get you the best output now if you look at the bottom you can see the quote that is generated success is not final failure is not fatal it is the courage to continue that counts by winston churchill now something that's crazy is that in terms of the benchmark for tool uses the tool llama model which was fine-tuned with tool lm was able to reach the performance of chat gpt turbo 16k model in terms of the tool use which is quite astonishing as they're able to take like llama's lowest models which is like around 7 billion parameter model and they're able to fine tune it so that it reaches the turbo 16k model of ChatGPT. now let's actually take a look at the architecture of tool lm and we can see that there is the five multi-step process that revolves around how the whole architecture functions and it first starts off with the data collection and this is the process where it collects high quality instruction tuned data sets and this data set is curated to include a diverse range of real world apis and we can see on the features tab that it collects the apis through rapid api which is a platform that hosts massive real world apis that are provided to users and developers now we can see that there's 16,000 16,464 apis that they have gathered for this data collection set and it's basically used to help with the real world api use cases as well as tasks and these tasks serve as a basis for training the model to understand and generate code related apis it secondly moves off with the model enhancement and this is where the chat gpt model is used specifically the gpt 3.5 model and the turbo 16k variant and it's enhanced with the advanced function call capabilities and this upgrade equips the model of tool them with the ability to effectively engage with and respond to different types of api calls that are gathered from rapid api and from this it moves on to the third step where it focuses on the data creation and with the utilization of the chat gpt model as well as the apis it automatically generates the instruction tuning data set and from this it fine tunes the model which is the fourth step and we can see that what they've done is they fine tuned their tool llama model and this is fine tuning by involving the training of the model on different instruction tuning data sets to refine the ability to comprehend and generate accurate 
code for the diverse ranges of APIs that are provided from Rapid API. And lastly, it is the practical demonstration. And this is where the results of Tool Llama model is showcased through the practical demonstrations that is exhibiting its proficiency in responding to the writing the API calls, which we saw from the example that we saw in the start of the video. Now, in simpler terms, it starts off with the first step, which is the data collection that it utilizes the rapid API library to provide the 16,000 APIs. It collects it, then it goes through the ChatGPT model, uh, specifically the 3.5 model to get the solution path, which is then sent to Toolbench and in which it fine tunes the Llama model to turn into the Tool Llama model. And this is where it helps create and call the different types of APIs from the rapid API model library list. And that's basically how it's able to train as well as focus on different data sets with the tool LM project. Now guys, there's actually a couple methods for installing this in terms of fine tuning, utilizing different models, such as the tool llama model, which they fine tuned with llama. Uh, you can also set this up with uh, ChatGPT, LoRa, as well as opening it up with your web UI, which is opening the tool llama language model. Now, there's a couple methods as to how you can do it. It's fairly easy, but in simple terms, you need to have three applications to do any of this. And that is firstly, Git, which is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly is Python, which is your code editor. And lastly, Visual Studio Code to input the API calls from different uh, models such as OpenAI. Now, once you have these three things figured out with, you can then copy whatever commands that are needed. Obviously, if you're gonna fine tune the models of Toolbench, you'll need to copy and clone the repository of this Toolbench repository. Now, if you're doing something like where you're gonna basically utilize only the API calls with a certain type of model such as OpenAI, you would need to do so by copying the code for the OpenAI models. And this is by inputting the API calls are the APIs for that model into that certain type of file. So in this case, if you're gonna use ChatGPT with the tool LM model, you would need to input your own API key with OpenAI. And this is done by utilizing the instructions on their GitHub repository to do so. But in the case of this video, there's too many different things to showcase. But if you're gonna, simple ways to actually utilize the API calls is by hosting it on your web UI. And this is by cloning the web UI tool llama file. And this is by cloning this repository, going into this file, uh, the folder, installing the requirements, and you're able to run it by pasting this command into command prompt once you have finished installing the web UI. And it's gonna be officially uh, usable off this local host in which you can write fast API calls with their fine tuned tool llama model. Now we can see from this example, you're able to do many tasks that utilize this new fine tuned model, which revivals the ChatGPT Turbo 16K model. And this is a fast way for you to utilize 16,000 different API calling lists to generate as well as help you facilitate your generation with this model. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. I highly recommend that you check out the research paper so you can get a better idea as to the limitations as well as the benchmarks that are associated with ToolLM and showcasing you a little bit more information on as to the actual architecture for the model. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely check out the Patreon page to get the exclusive features that are associated with our page. Uh, if you guys want to check out the coffee page, I'll leave this link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI, please do so so you can get the latest AI news and trends right to you. And lastly, check out this gorilla video and the YouTube page so you can stay up to date with the latest AI videos. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe, turn on the notification bell, check out our previous videos. And with that thought, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.